Hey, 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 guys, it's Frecky here. It is Sunday, and you know what that means? It means time for another weigh-in. All right, so, week 10. I've been doing this for 10 weeks. Holy cow, time is flying by. And I want to put out a disclaimer, even though I'm sure everybody's sick of them. I'm not making excuses. I'm explaining my life. But last Sunday, after my weigh-in, if you remember on Tuesday I talked about it, I went to Sonic, planned out my points, and they gave me the wrong food. And I chose to eat all of that food, rather than going back or doing something different or whatever. So I really, really thought and accepted that, all right, one week of not losing out of 10, not bad. So I mentally accepted that. And then when I stepped on the scale this morning, boom, I lost 1.6 pounds this week for a total of 23 pounds off my body. Super happy. I was shocked and delighted by that, despite me going over my weekly points. It just goes to show like one that helps doing it when I have a full week till my next weigh-in, if I using the, the weekly points, and if I have a mess up, mess up earlier in the week. But also, I feel a lot of it has to do with, um, let me get those off there. A lot of it has to do with, I added in exercise this week. Well, since the beginning of the month. You guys remember this calendar over here. Um, I have been doing that every single day. Today's is not checked marked because I haven't done it yet today. But... I feel like that has been very, very helpful. And then I have also been using this guy over here, this giant ball. It's a stability ball. And so normally I've been sitting in it. I'm not right now because I wanted to be a little bit taller. When I sit on that, like if you remember, if you saw my bonus video this week, I was sitting on it. And so like I'm really low and it's kind of weird. So instead I'm sitting in my normal chair, but I sit on that to work on stabilizing and strengthening my core. And quick tip with that, uh, one of my customers told me your legs need to be together while you're sitting, and that is what has helped strengthening your core. If you're sitting with your legs apart, it's not really doing much. But people say that it helps your back and things like that. And I've done some minor other exercises with that, such as crunches or push-ups or um, what was the other thing I did? I did something else on it. Oh, squats. The squats, I didn't really feel like I was getting much out of, so I'm probably not going to do those, and I'm going to pick up other stuff as I go along. But I feel like adding these things in have been super helpful, especially when, like, I, that was a lot of points that I used at the beginning of the week, and I made up for it. So even if you fall off your horse, one, get back up and get right back on it, but two, maybe, I don't know analogy to, an, an analogy to go with that, but work harder, throw in some extra exercise, stuff like that, and maybe you can repair any damage you did by a bad choice one day during the week. Um, it's helpful that that bad choice was a week ago and I had you know the next six days to make up for it versus if I made a bad choice last night, not so much. Um, but yeah, so moving on, I'm going into my mini goals. So, this guy here, Dragon Con. So my goal is to get to 263. So, that is 90.8 more pounds to go, which I'm making great progress. I've got until Labor Day 2020 to get to the goal that I want, and I'm making great progress. I'm happy with that. And then this goal over here, my mini goal, my next goal is to get to 40 pounds, and that is when I'm going to reward myself with something. Don't know what yet. I have a list going. But I, like I said, I'm at 353.8, and my goal weight is 336.8. So I only have 17 more pounds to go. So I'm, 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 I'm killing it, honestly. Like, I hate to sound cocky, but I'm kind of proud of myself. I made a bad choice, and I learned from it. And I worked hard after it. So that makes me very happy to see these numbers going where I want them to go. So, other thing I want to talk about is social medias. I never mention it. I never, well, I do, but not much. But I'm, I changed my end credits so it'll list all of them, and I'm going to put a link to all of them in the comments, uh, the description box. 
but I have, you know, I, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I even created a Discord chat server so that if anybody wants to actually discuss and join on there, they want ask me questions, talk to me, talk to other people on there, we can post recipes, we can post funny memes, we can just chat about health and fitness in general, and whatever else we need to talk about. I mean, obviously, I'm a big advocate for, for working with and helping, you know, mental issues, depression, anxiety, things like that. So to get support from people, because not everybody has a support system, and not everybody's on Facebook or wants to put that type of information on Facebook or join those type of groups on Facebook. So this way, if you don't, we can have access to it. Don't know if it's going to take off. Don't know if anybody really wants to use it. I just happened to be watching like a, a video and they suggested making one for your channel. So I did. I'm learning Discord, FYI. I've only ever used it for the audio chat while playing games. Never really did interacted much. I, ha I joined a bunch of servers. Never really interacted much in a, with them. Never had my own server before. So it's going to be a learning process. So bear with me. Because it's going to... It's going to take some time and I'm going to have some mistakes. So other than that, I want to know how are you guys doing? How are you going on your goals? Do you have any new goals that you're working towards? My goals are those many goals that I showed, of course, but I want to be using my exercise ball more. I want to make sure I'm sticking to the 30-day challenge and I want to just get more active in general as well as stay within my points. And after Tuesday when I do my blood type test kit video I and I find out what my blood type is I'm gonna kind of not switch diets by any means but kind of take some of those guidelines in when I find out my blood type there are there's information that about food that is good for your blood type or bad for your blood type so I'm gonna start after Tuesday when I do that I'm gonna start kind of paying attention and seeing what happens if I avoid certain foods I don't know what foods these are I don't know we'll find out um, so that's my other goal. And then my other last goal for this week is at the end of this week, I believe it's a Friday. I forgot honestly what day it's supposed to go up, but uh, I'm going to be part of a collab with other YouTubers where we have a topic and we all discuss it. And I'm going to be doing that video on Tuesday so that it can go up on, I believe Friday. If you haven't yet hit the bell next to subscribe because then you can find out when I post things. Like my bonus video this week um, on Thursday, I think it was Thursday, whatever day I posted it, I don't even know. I didn't subscribe to myself. But um, if I post an extra video besides just the Sunday and Tuesday, then if you have the notification bell clicked, it'll let you know when I post a video because I, I sometimes do extra. Last week I did, this week I am. And also because we all know I post Sundays and Tuesdays, but it's not always at the same time. I never really know exactly when things are going to get done. Like, you know, when I made that pizza video, I had to make the pizza several times. So it took a little bit longer. And then, um, like, my weigh-in videos can be a little iffy sometimes because I like to do them super early. Usually my roommate stays at his boyfriend's house, and I can get up early, do what I need to do, and record a video. But then there's days like today, he and his boyfriend actually stayed here. So I don't like recording when other people are home. It feels weird. And like they might make noise or it just feels weird because I'm sitting here talking to my computer. Like I, I, I don't know anybody else, if any of my other people are doing YouTube, but like it's kind of weird looking at your computer screen talking to yourself. Obviously, I know I'm talking to any viewers that are out there, but it feels weird if somebody walked by my room and, like, hears me just talking to myself. Plus, on camera, I'm a little bit more loud. I'm a little bit more animated, and he's used to me being a little bit more quiet, mellow dude. So it feels weird, and I get self-conscious, so I don't, I don't do it when he's home. And so that's why I'm starting later. I think I started this video at, like, 9.30 versus a lot of times I'm recording with 7 or 8 even. But it's later in the afternoon or later in the morning, whatever time of day it is. But yeah, so if you hit that bell, point being, you'll get notified when I post. One of my friends pointed out that I never tell people to do that. And it's one of those things that I just know to do. But in case you don't, if you want to know when I post videos, that'll let you know. And um, yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, 
let me know what your goals are. I'm really curious. And if you're on a journey, let me know. If you haven't commented yet, let me know. I would love to hear from you and support you. And I like the support myself, I'm not going to lie. So if you are on that, please, please, please leave a comment and let me know. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and that bell that I keep forgetting to mention. And feel free to share my videos. And until Tuesday when I do my blood type test kit, I will talk to you later. Thank you.